What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage. We are back with another episode of What Wheels Fit, where we go over what wheels fit your car. Today we're gonna to be looking at the fifth generation of the Honda Civic. All right, so the Honda Civic, by far the most popular car in the Fitment Industries gallery. So we got a bunch of stuff to go through today, uh, specifically for the fifth gen here. But don't forget, if you're looking for wheels, tires, or suspension, and of course, after you watch this and know what wheels fit your fifth gen Civic, don't forget to hop in over to fitmentindustries.com and get you some wheels, to get you some tires, you can package them both together, show up to your door, free mount balance and shipping, and you can throw them on your car the same day. It's like win, win, win. So. We're gonna dive in, take a look at some few examples that are sitting in the Fitment Industries Fitment Gallery. It's our number one tool to help you guys figure out what wheels are gonna fit your car. So, all that being said, we can hop into the first car here, which is a 1992 Honda Civic CX. We're looking at some ESM 002Rs. Now, we are starting off with a 15 inch setup here. We're gonna be looking more at like 15 and 16 inch setups. This here is a 15 by eight plus 20. And we got some Toyo Proxys R888Rs 20550 on some K Sport coilovers. So, we do have a pretty solid tire setup here. Again, like the R888s, 20550. It's a good size for, uh, you know, that eight inch wheel. And we're getting like a pretty decent flush fitment. No like rubbing or anything like that. Um, the K-Sport coilover is giving a nice drop in ride height and there's no modification as far as like fender rolling or like pulling or anything needed uh, to get that nice flush fitment. So I think this is a very solid starting point. You know, if you're looking to throw some new wheels on your Honda Civic, you're getting a little bit of poke in the rear. Obviously, if you, you can get rid of that with um, a little bit of a smaller tire, I would say. Um, if you go down to like maybe like a 195 or something like that, maybe a little lower sidewall profile, um, get a little bit of stretch going on, you can lower that car a little more, it's gonna sit really nice. So that's a great first example to start off with. Again, uh, for these cars, a general fitment range we're gonna be looking at is 15 to 16 inch diameter and a width from like seven to nine inches is what we're gonna be looking at for the most part. So getting to our second car, uh, we can kind of see with this 1992, uh, we got some work of motions, all right? 15 by seven plus 15. So going down in the width a little bit, but going a little more aggressive with that offset, uh, going way down in the tire size to a 175.50. And then we're actually sitting on some air performance air suspension. So a bagged 92 Honda Civic. As far as any other suspension mods go here, uh, we got the air performance, it's the Slam series. We got the blocks, camber kits uh, to kind of help dial everything in. but. For a 15 by seven setup, plus 15, looks like you get a nice aired out fitment. Looks really good. Third car, we're going back to that 15 by eight plus 20. We got some JNC 004s uh, with a Federal SS 595 195.45. So like that last, or the first car that we looked at, going down in that tire size and then on function to form coilovers, uh, getting a little more lowered ride height, you can see how that would sit. Again, nearly flush setup, no rubbing, no modifications needed as far as, um, you know, rolling the fenders or pulling fenders or anything like that. Again, we see that blocks camber kit. We got the negative three in the front, negative one in the back, looking really nice. I like the setup a lot personally. I think this would be like a really solid go-to, that 15 by eight plus 20, if you're looking for a 15 inch setup. Um, I think it fits really good. And again, you get a nice ride height. It's not like anything too crazy low. You can still probably like daily drive this pretty well. Looks really nice. Of course, if you wanna go a little more aggressive, we got examples of that in here as well. Uh, this 94, we got some work with Whippo 3s. We got 15 by eight and a half with a zero offset. So literally right smack dab in the center um, of the face is where that's gonna sit. Nanking NS20s, 185, 45, and again on some air performance air suspension. So as you can see, a lot more of an aggressive fitment, almost more of like a fender to lip style fitment. Looks really, really good. We got a, um, same camber up front and in the rear, negative four and a half degrees. Um, see if there's any other suspension pieces here, which is really nice. Uh, hard race front and rear camber arms to get everything kind of dialed in. Looks really good. That's the nice thing that, you know, the, the gallery has to offer is like, if there is any additional like, you know, uh, camber arms or if you need like uh, lower control arms or anything like that to help dial anything, they usually um, can list that in there, really help you get the fitment that you want. But this looks really, really good. Nice aired out look, near fender to lip, looks really clean. Of course, for those that wanna go up to like a 16 inch setup, we can take a look at that. Here we have a 1993, it's a 1552 Formula TR, 16 by eight plus 30. So, Yokohama s drive tires, 195.45 on some Tane coilovers. Again, looks pretty damn good in my opinion, kind of similar to the, the 15 by eight plus 20. 
um, you know, and you're getting a little less aggressive with the offset, but because of the larger diameter, you know, kind of helps fill it up a little bit more. Uh, Tain coilovers, I think a good choice. We got Skunk 2 front and rear camber kit. So seems to be a very common trend with these cars. You're having some sort of camber kit to kind of help clear everything. Um, but any, as far as other notes, fenders are pulled and rolled to alleviate any rubbing issues on this car. Moving right along, get to this 94 with some Adhan AH03, 16 by eight plus 20. So pushing that offset a little more further out. Toyota Praxis 225, 35 on some BC racing coilovers. So fenders are rolled to help clear. Um, doesn't have any rubbing or scrubbing issues, which is good. And seems to be just another solid setup. If you wanna go with that little more aggressive fitment on there compared to the last one, you can go with a plus 20 offset versus a plus 30. And to close out the day, we got this 1995 Honda Civic on some Workmeister M1 three pieces, uh, 16 by nine and a half plus 14. So uh, by far the most aggressive setup of the day. Got some Accelerator all seasons, 195.45 and some function and form coilover. So this car is static, looking really low, really clean, some good fitment. Uh, negative four and a half degrees camera in the front, negative, or sorry, in the rear, and negative six in the front. Uh, no other real, crazy modifications of course we got those camber arms in there overall very very clean look you're getting the 16 inch wheel you're getting a wide setup i mean the 16 by nine and a half i mean that's a pretty wide setup for a honda civic and then you get to the plus 14 offset and honestly that fitment looks really good that looks really really good so if you're still looking around you're like ah oh, maybe i you know didn't really see exactly what i'm looking for you guys can hop over to the gallery yourselves it's a free tool that we offer for you guys to use there's hundreds if not thousands of honda civics in the gallery actually yeah there is like thousands and thousands of honda civics in the gallery you go take a look for yourself and really filter and dial in specifically what you're looking for as far as like diameter width if you want to go with like a certain tire size you can sort by what type of suspension you're running if you want lowering spring coilovers air suspension literally the whole nine yards is a great tool to use and of course if you find out what you need you can get it right there feminindustries.com so let us know down in the comments below if you'd like us to cover a specific vehicle in the next episode of what wheels fits i'm jealous thank you for watching fitment industries garage we'll see you in the next one